What is going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we have this 2009 Buick Enclave and today, well, we're gonna program the computer on this car because let me just give you a quick peek right here. So this is the original computer for this car and as you can see, we have a burnt mark right there. So the computer was burnt on this car. I don't know the reason why. They probably jumped the car with the wrong uh, leads on, on the side probably the negative and the positive and they cost a short or something but anyways we're gonna program a computer they actually brought a used one but the problem on these uh, newer cars uh, with those computers you cannot program uh, the, the computer if you already programmed it on a uh, let's say you got a computer from a different car and then you're trying to put it right here and then you try to program the anti-theft on this car. So as you can see, it doesn't start because it has the anti-lock, anti-theft on. And if you try and program that, it will not work because uh, the, the pin number comes locked on the computer. And well, you cannot program it to other car. What you can do is clone it, but since I don't have the tool, uh, you can take it to somewhere else. There are many places online where you can um, do that procedure but as you can see they use the spins right here to clone it and they read the cpu right here the mpc 562 that's what they read to clone your computer but on this one i cannot do it because i actually have the tool but you need a newer tool to do it because the one that i have it only does uh certain models not not all that well anyways so here we have the computer. Uh, I put the used one, so you can see right there. Uh, 0322, that's the bin for that computer. And the bin that I need to program is actually this one, 0324. And well, it doesn't match. Well, actually it's, it's another bin from other computer. So if we go, let me just show you really quick. Let me go to the interface of the computer so I can show you that uh, the module has different uh, calibration for this car so let me just get some communication with the car so we're gonna hit diagnosis control unit and engine module and EC information ID information we should communicate with the computer and actually I'm not so let me just do something quick right here because it's not reading all right, so I'm back. As you can see, the anti theft is on. I had something disconnected, and well, let me just take you right here. So you can see that the computer that I installed is used. And it's gonna get the communication and get the ID for the, from the computer, the used one. I have the new one right here. So this is the company we got it from, NPC Computers. And well, as you can see, it has this V number 4864 and you can see it doesn't match so that's the used computer so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring the laptop and I'm gonna try and flash it so you can also see that it will not work it will give me an error code so let me just bring the laptop and uh, let's see if we can fix the score bring it back to life because it's been sitting for almost for like two years I think that's what they said two years sitting and well it has a problem with the communication lines too but I did I did a bypass so I can communicate with the computer and this is the tool I use so this tool is really nice I can get the pin out for the OBD2 and this is the high um, this one is, is the high communication line and this one is the low so it's pretty cool I use it all the time when I program Mercedes it really helps so let me bring the laptop and let's start working so as you can see we are on the sequence of SPS let me just turn this up and here we have the pin number the original one let me see. it's a little bit blurry sorry hold on okay so we have the pin number right there and we're gonna hit reprogram it's gonna take a slot from the bin I mean from the program let me just Move this a little bit so we can get more clear picture. And we're gonna select ECM TCM. 
and we're gonna reprogram it using the original bin number of this card and you will see that it will give me an error that is not gonna be able to do it so it says the current bin we're gonna proceed let's just wait a little bit more this is I'm doing this using the computer they supplied the used one it's gonna read the data from that computer come on come on come on and you should get the programming data in a little bit we're gonna overwrite it because it's reading another bin number as you can see that's the bin number from that computer uh, and we're gonna select overwrite we're gonna hit next and we're gonna select the engine operation which is the first one we're gonna select next start programming and well it's gonna give me an error in a little bit Come on, so as you can see, some part number information is missing from this module, so it will not let me program the computer. So we're gonna plug that computer and uh, let's do the same process again. All right, so the new computer is already plugged in and I believe it's already programmed since they just uh, ship it already programmed. You only have to do the anti theft programming. And well, it's gonna let me just make sure it reads good so we're gonna press next and as you notice it didn't give me the overwrite option in, uh, no more because it already detected the right bit number for the car so we're gonna proceed I will probably will not flash the computer it's just uh, I will do the anti theft only but let me just go over here getting programming data and well it's communicating good with the computer so we're gonna press next we have the current calibration 0595 and well everything much is good so let's just go back because I'm not going to program this computer I'm just gonna do the theft turn programming vehicle theft and then we're gonna press next and we're gonna select the procedure with it so we're gonna uh, learn ECM or PCM replace so we're gonna select this one and we're going to press next and actually I'm going to back this out because I already have uh, I'm, I already have I can do this procedure with the scanner so I'm just gonna cancel this and let me bring the scanner, turn it on, and I'll show you how to do it. If you already uh, ordered a computer, already programmed. So we're going to just turn this off, and we're going to turn on the scanner. Shooting down, let's connect this. And we're going to turn on the scanner. But the scanner is a lot faster. I like this one better. So it makes things easier. So once it puts up, uh, I will go to the section. All right, so we are here already on the section for the immobilizer. So I'm um, on the immobilizer app from this uh, scanner. As you can see, it has the keys logo there. And this, by the way, this scanner is really good. I really love it. It was pricey, but I really like this scanner. I can do a lot of things with this. So we're gonna do a mobilizer scan. We're gonna press yes. And as you can see, we have the right bin number for this car. Uh, we, we have two codes because the computer was programmed, so we need to de do the crank relearn and also program the key. So we're gonna do immobilizer matching and immobilizer can. Actually, just just gonna add the key start and we press no we don't want to clear not yet we press yes switches on and it needs at least two keys but I guess one is already programmed so we're gonna wait 12 minutes and we should be able to start this vehicle
All right, so it's 100% now, and we're gonna switch the ignition off. Press OK, and then we're gonna switch the ignition on OK again. We should see the anti theft go off. There we go. So we can start. If this doesn't start, then we can wait about two minutes until it starts. So it's not starting. So we're gonna wait just a little bit. And well, test uh, power of the vehicle for 20 for two minutes. If if it doesn't turn on, so we're gonna press OK. And procedure complete. We're gonna just exit this. No, because it's already done. We're gonna exit this. And then we're gonna exit this. And we come back again, but for diagnostics, I have it on history right here. Let me just go right here. And while we are in this system, then we're, we're just gonna wait, and wait, and we're waiting. And let's see if it starts. Come on. So it doesn't start yet. All right, so we already switched the the key. I had to cut another one because, like the uh, the message said, I need to at least two keys to program since we replaced the computer. And well, uh, it comes with all keys erased. And well, this one, the original, obviously is locked to the other computer, the original one. But once you program an additional one, you can also add this one. It will work the same if you haven't changed the uh, immobilizer module. It will still work the same. So after I switched the ignition off and I switched it on with the keys that I want to program, it worked perfectly. So as you can see, we're gonna open the switch and we need to wait for the anti theft to go off. And boom, it starts starts right up. So yeah, every time every time you change the computer, you need at least two keys to program uh, to make the car start on these newer cars. Alright guys, so this will be pretty much uh, the end of the video. If you like the information on this video, please uh, comment down below. Uh, hit the notifications button so you can be updated with every video I upload every week. And also smash the like button. And I'll see you on the next episode guys. Give it a fix out.